lovely people my name is Emma and today I'm bringing you an overly specific book recommendations video focused on fiction that looks at performance art in some form. For this I'm specifically looking at things that focus on music, dance and theatre rather than performance art as it's known within like an art history context. I have a different video where I talk a little bit about that that I'll link down below. So these are all books where the arts are a major focal point of the story itself. So the first one I want to talk about is looking at ballet and that is The Four Temperaments by Yona McDonoghue. I read this book absolutely years ago and have reread it several times. It's absolutely stunning and it really is a family drama hinging on the ballet dancer Ginny who ends up coming into this family and it's about the chaos that she causes. So Ginny ends up having an affair with the um, one of the gentlemen who plays in the orchestra of the group that she dances with. I think it's the Royal Ballet in New York maybe, although it's been a little while since I read that particular part and then it's about how that affair has ripple effects in the various different family members within it. However the ballet really features as a core part within the story and there are many descriptions of Ginny's performances as well as her own relationship with ballet and how she's understood that relationship um, and her love for ballet compared to the idea of a romantic partner in her life and how she's understanding the affair clashing with ballet which is her one true and first love. It's absolutely stunning and mentions some really wonderful specific ballet dances as well so it's worth definitely checking out. One that's looking at performance art from more of a circus or almost like vaudeville kind of style is The Lonely Hearts Hotel by Heather O'Neill. This is a quirky almost magical realism -y kind of a book it's really playing around with the idea of making the grotesque beautiful so major trigger warnings for some abuse both sexual and physical in this it's worth knowing that going in it's a little intense in places but it follows two orphans who've grown up in an orphanage who end up separated but come back together and they both have their own performance skills that really bring them joy in their life one of them plays the piano and the other one dances sings and generally is a bit of an all-rounder and it's about some of the performances that they put on later Later. It's a lovely description of the joy that performance art can bring to people and like I said it's really making the grotesque beautiful so the writing style in this is absolutely stunning. It really gives me similar feelings to things like The Night Circus which I haven't actually mentioned in this video but is one you could check out if you're interested in circus in general. Um, not that it's particularly accurate to modern circus at all um, but it really gives me those kinds of vibes just taking a little bit of a step further. One that a lot of people do know already but it's totally worth mentioning is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is about the scandalous past of the actress Evelyn Hugo who is finally opening up to a reporter and talking about her life and the seven husbands that she's had. What I love about this is it really acts as like a history of film and how women have been portrayed in film and the power that women have had or lack thereof in film over the years. Uh, also spoiler alert but totally not spoiler alert, um, Evelyn Hugo is bisexual and it's also discussing her relationship with uh, Celia and the fact that they've had to hide it for so many years and a lot of the gay rights movements that were happening around the time. It's absolutely stunning and I love some of the descriptions of um, both her on set and how she really kind of makes her big break and the way that she approaches acting but also some of the discussions of like the um, publicity surrounding particular movie tours and how um, the various like the movie industry has kind of grown over the years. It's really good fun. Now I know what you're thinking if this is a video that is talking about performance art including music and I've just mentioned The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, surely uh, Daisy Jones and the Six should be in here as well which is Taylor Jenkins Reid's other very big book. I didn't personally enjoy that book and I actually have an alternative for you if you're looking for a story of a band on the road and the shenanigans they get up to and that is I Play the Drums in a Band Called OK by Toby Litt. Now full confession I read this book probably at least a decade ago now so my memory of it is a little hazy in places fully enough but I do have very fond feelings for this book and it has survived many an arm haul and many a house move. So I really think it is worth checking out. I do know it involves a band on tour. It's primarily a male band and I know that it was also written in the kind of early 2000s. So I'm not too sure how good it is for um, female representation in general and whether there are any trigger warnings to be warned about. I don't know, it's been a while. But I do know that if you enjoy Daisy Jones and the Six and you're looking for another band on tour style book, this is definitely worth 
kind of giving a go and checking it out. Two now that are about theatre in particular and one of those is Innocence by Kathleen Tessero. This is a rom-com sort of finding oneself coming of age style book that is looking at our main character who has moved um, all the way from America to London to join a particular um, like drama school and it's about her time there. She's desperately trying to get into RADA which is a very very big influential theatre school and it's about her um, attempting to get go through the auditions. However when she comes over she falls in love with a guy who is in a band and it's about their torrid love affair as well as potentially it's like running dual timeline and it's about her um, later on when everything's gone horribly wrong kind of looking back and how she has grown and learned from it. There are many different plays mentioned in this and it describes her relationship with the text and relationship with theatre in general and like, a lot of method acting discussion so it's really good fun and I loved so many of the different sections about the theatre in it as well as the two romances that are in the book. It is really beautiful and I love Kathleen Tessero's writing so if you are a big fan of kind of light contemporary romance with a little bit of a hard-hitting edge to it you should totally check this out. And the final one that I want to mention which is going to come as no surprise I've left it to the end because you probably already know about it and that is Station Eleven by Emily St John Mandel. So this is a post-apocalyptic book which is looking at uh, the outbreak of a flu pandemic so maybe don't read it right now depending on what frame of mind you're in um, both at the time but then 20 years into the future after civilization started to try and vaguely claw back together and it's that particular part of this book that I think really works for this kind of theming in this video because our main character who is kind of a main character but a lot of other characters bounce in and out it's a bit vignette in places um she is part of a touring theater and what they do is they they're called the um traveling symphony i believe or the traveling or yeah the traveling symphony and they go around these different villages that have kind of sprung up and they perform shakespeare and classical music and there are some lovely discussions within it about what it means to survive what it means to be a human and what is important in life and the reasons why the arts are more important than you might initially think so that e those are a collection of books that really have performance whether it be theatre dance or music at their core and um yeah i just think are really lovely stories if you have any recommendations for other books that have this kind of a style do let me know and i'm sure there are more on my shelf that could fit in with this that i might be able to do another video like it soon i'm kind of hoping to do one about books set in the circus soon so if you'd like to see that do let me know down below fab have a wonderful reading week and i'll chat to you soon bye